Hi guys, Mother's Day is coming, and if you have a laser engraver, why not use it to make a gift for your mother? In this video, we will show you how you can make a beautiful gift with your laser in less than 10 minutes. So, you want to know all about it? Then stay tuned! Hi guys, welcome back! My name is Rui, and this is the Rui Raptor YouTube channel. If you want to help us out, you can by giving this video a like and subscribe to the channel. You can also help by joining our Patreon page or by clicking on any of the affiliate links posted below in the video description. So, for the project we are going to show you today, you don't need to have a lot of knowledge about laser engraving. A beginner in the hobby will be able to do it without any problem. We just need a laser engraver, which doesn't need to be a very expensive machine. For what we will do today, a 5 watt laser will do just fine. We will also need a piece of thin wood. A 3 mm thick balsa board will do just fine. Since the project is small, you can use wood leftovers from previous projects. As for the software, we will use Lightburn. At the end, and to complete the project, we can use permanent pens and varnish, but this is optional. Our idea for a gift for Mother's Day is to make a keychain. For the drawing, we can look for something free online, for example, on Pixabay. Let's search for images, alerting to Mother's Day and filter by vector format. This image, for example, is free and will look great on a keychain. So, we need to download the image but in SVG format. Once downloaded, we open the image on the computer. And this is what we get. Next, we will open Lightburn. If you don't have this software, you can use the trial version which is free to try for a few days. On Lightburn, we click on Open and change the type of file to open which in this case needs to be vector file. This way, we open the SVG file that we just downloaded. Here, the file is a bit different from the image we downloaded. To have a preview of our project, click here. As you can see, the project only has the outline of the design. If we see here at the right, all the drawing is set as line. Let's switch to fill and adjust the parameters for our wood type. Now we can see that the drawing looks the same as the image we downloaded. If you prefer, you can also leave it as it was. It's up to you. Finally, to have a keychain, we will have to create its shape. We decided that our keychain will be round, and for that, we drew a circle. Next, we drew a smaller circle to hold the keychain ring. Previously, we selected the fill option for the letters. However, to get the shape of the keychain, we will have to cut the wood on the circles. To do this, we add the new layer with the line option and assign both circles to this layer. Here, we also have to adjust parameters for our wood. Please note that, since we will be using a laser with only 5 watts of output power, to cut the wood, we will have to make a few passes to get a clean cut. We will choose a faster speed and medium laser power and set 9 passes to avoid burning the edge of the wood. And finally, we have to adjust the size of our project. In this case, we will choose a diameter of around 17 mm. Don't forget to define the order of the layers so that the laser first does the engraving and only after does the cutting. As you see here at the right, we first have the fill layer for the engraving areas and next the line layer defined with several passes and which will perform the cutting. If instead of a keychain you want to make a magnet or a badge, just leave out the small circle. Okay. We have all the settings typed in, now we can save the project. If you are comfortable with the software, you can still add more details to your project, as we did here. However, for beginners, we can leave as is. All we need to do now is prepare our laser engraver. 
In this case, we will use our longer RAID 5. Let's connect the power to the engraver and the USB cable to the computer. Before turning on the machine, we have to adjust the height of the laser, and to do this, we need to use the adjustment cylinder. If your laser is a different model, check your adjustment procedure. We take the wood that we are going to use, or a similar one with the same thickness, and place it under the laser head. Then, we loosen the screws that secure the laser head and move it down until it touches the cylinder. With the laser at the correct height, we can tighten back the screws and remove the cylinder. Since we will need to make a few cuts, it's also a good practice to have a honeycomb under the material that will be cut. Remember to always adjust the height of the laser if you add any platform or use a board with different thicknesses from the one you used before when calibrating. So, let's turn on our laser. With the Ray 5, we have the option to save the project on the memory card and run the job from it. Or, by connecting the computer to the engraver, using the USB cable that we have shown earlier, or through Wi-Fi. In this case, we will connect the computer directly to our engraver. If this is the first time you are using your engraver, you must first configure Lightburn for your machine. To do this, go to Devices and click on Create manually. Then choose the GRBL option, then Serial USB. Finally, choose the name you want to give your laser and define its working area. In our case, the Ray 5 model has a working area of 400 by 400 millimeters. Next, choose front left for the origin point, and since the Ray 5 laser engraver is not equipped with end stops, the auto home needs to be disabled. Okay, we already have our laser configured, and to start working, we just have to click play here on the right. Before starting, we can click on the preview and see how long the job will take until it's completed. As you can see, this project does not take too long. The estimated time is just a little over 5 minutes. And don't forget that when working with laser engravers, it's highly recommended to wear protective goggles. Ok, and here you can check our laser in progress. The video shows the true speed of the engraver. Since our laser only has an output power of 5 watts, and to achieve a well-defined cut, we prefer to set 9 passes for the cuts. However, if you use an air assist, you will be able to reduce the number of passes and maintain the quality. And here is the result. As you can see, the engraving is well-defined, and the cut was perfectly done, and without burn marks. Now we can leave it like this, or, if you prefer, you can paint some of the details with permanent or acrylic markers, and finish with a varnish. Then just put the ring on it, and there, we have our keychain ready for Mother's Day. And that's it you guys, hope this video was useful. We will see you guys next time. Bye!